In this lesson, we're going to talk about creating a query in Google Sheets where the column selections in your query output are driven by checkbox selections. So you can see here in row seven, I have a query result and it pulls based on the values of the column letters up here in these cells and these cells. And this is driven by checkbox criteria. I have an if statement in this cell here that says if the checkbox to the right equals true then reflect the column a and a comma so if i uncheck this then it disappears and also disappears from our query results as well so you can see i can uncheck any of these and the query adjust automatically. So we'll get started on this. So on a new tab, I'm going to insert a new query. Our data detail is back on the very first tab. So I'm gonna start in cell A1, hit Control Shift right arrow, and then Control Shift down arrow. I'm gonna hit F4 to lock that down. The next input is our select statement. For now, I'm just gonna say select A, B, C, D. Our final input is the number of row headers we have in our data set, that is one. So I'll hit enter and this reflects. Actually, I'm gonna say select star so we can see all of the column headers because we need to copy these for our above cells. So I'm going to paste values up top here and then once I have the values what I'm going to do is copy again and then paste special transposed and get our other values or headers. paste those also. So now the next thing we want to do is create checkboxes. So I'm going to select the area where I want the checkboxes to be. I'm going to go up to data and then data validation under this criteria drop box we want to select checkbox and hit save. I am going to copy these checkboxes here and then paste them in these to the right also. So now what we want to do is insert an if statement that says whether or not this box to the right is checked. If it is checked, it has a value of true. If it is unchecked, it has a value of false. You can see that there in the window when I click on the cell. So. What I want to say is if g1 equals a value of true, then we want to reflect the column letter A in a comma. If it is false, we just want nothing. So you can see now we have a value of our first column, which is column A for the loan ID and if I uncheck it, it disappears. So we want to do this for all of our column headers. And so what I'm going to do now is drag this down and just change the true part of our function to the respective column letters. So now I'll get to this in a second, but I just want to kind of give everybody a heads up. Now, the, the problem we have with linking our query to these cells is there's always going to be a final column and the final column in your select statement cannot have a comma on the end. So I will show you 
as we get into it, how we get around that. It's, it's an easy fix, but just keep that in the back of your head. So the first thing though, we want to come out of our select statement quotes and use the and symbol to concatenate it to the values of our actual cells containing the column names. So it's just going to be a series of ands and the column reference or cell reference, should I say. Cell reference containing the column reference. So now we get to what I was talking about. You see the last column we have selected currently has a comma on it. And if it's the last column, it should we don't always know how many columns we're gonna have selected here. It's always gonna be a, a variable number that will change with the selections. So the last one cannot have a comma on it. So to get around this, what we have to do is add a blank column to the end of our select statement so that whatever last column is selected up here is not technically the last column. We have a blank column that's on the right. So to insert a blank column, you simply just put a single quote space single quote. So we'll do that and end our select statement. And you can see that blank column currently reflects a little space, you know, double quotes and parentheses. Now, if you want to get rid of that, what you can do is label it something else you know we we inserted the label statement and just said hey label this blank space as nothing two single quotes and that gets rid of that so now we have everything and you can see if we unselect any of these columns our query adjusts automatically and we can just at will choose which columns we want to display by checking the boxes. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.